We never want our kids to get hurt, especially while speeding down the road on a bicycle. This is why coaster brakes were created, to make it easy for kids to slow down their bikes if they cannot use handle hand brakes properly. A coaster brake is a special type of brake that is fitted into the rear wheel of a regular bike. Instead of fumbling with hand brakes, children can simply apply some pressure on bike pedals to slow them down. However, the coaster brake on your child's bicycle may no longer be of use and you need to detach it. So in this video, we'll teach you how to remove reverse lock on a kid's bicycle. To take off a coaster brake, you need the following tools. A spanner. A torque wrench. A hammer. An axle vise. A screwdriver. A cone wrench. Now, the procedure. Keep the wheel set in an appropriate position. To have proper access, we suggest that you place the wheel on your lap. With the arm of the coaster brake facing upwards and in a 4 o'clock position. Placing the bike wheel in this position helps you comfortably get the job done, while also being able to reach every part of the wheel. To separate the arm of the coaster brake from the frame, proceed to loosen it. Disassemble the wheel from the bike. Have the axle's nuts and washers removed from it. Look closely and you will find axle protrusions on the left and right side. At this point, you need to measure and note the axle protrusion on the left side. Noting the measurement of the axle protrusion makes it easier to quickly center it when reassembling. Hold the wheel with the right side facing up with an axle vise. Use a flat screwdriver to remove the snap ring that holds the sprocket, to disengage the sprocket. Pay close attention now. Try to gauge if the orientation of the sprocket is asymmetrical. When you flip the sprocket, it will either move in or out of the hub. This affects the alignment of the front sprocket. Use a cone wrench to keep the cone in check then loosen and remove the lock nut. Detach the cone then turn the driver counter clockwise to remove it from its shell. Carefully remove the wheel from the axle assembly. Clamp the axle assembly with a vise then turn it. Use the brake arm as a lever and clamp the left side nut with a wrench. Doing this enables you to loosen the lock nut and all the parts in the axle assembly. The next step is to remove the brake shoes. Start by unscrewing the driver and the large ball retainer with your finger. Watch out because as you lift the hub shell from the axle assembly, the brake shoes will fall off. With the brake shoes out of the way, say goodbye to that reverse lock. Now reassemble what is left of the wheel. To make your reassembly process easier, we recommend that you record the process of dismantling the wheel. This is to ensure that you know what goes where in case you forget. Ensure that you tighten the screws firmly to avoid components falling off while your kid's bike is being ridden. Go to your local bike shop to seek professional help. If you aren't the DIY kind of person, or you do not have the tools necessary to carry out this process. Take your kid's bike to your local bike shop and have someone get it done for you. This should not cost you much to get done, and you also don't have to worry about getting any of the steps wrong. Benefits of removing reverse lock on a kid's bikes. Most people often cringe at the idea of having the coaster brake taken off their kid's bikes. But some will argue that it is the best thing you can do for your child when bike riding is concerned. What makes it good? Coaster brake gives a rigid deceleration. On the other hand, switching from coaster brake to hand brakes, give your kids control over how sharp their brake is. It makes it easier for your kids to learn how to use hand brakes if you teach them from the start. Two hand brakes beat one coaster brake. After some use, brakes begin to face wear and tear, coaster brake is not excluded. It is safer for kids to ride their bikes with hand brakes, so in a case where one fails, there is another brake as a backup. Coaster brake does not offer as much safety as hand brakes offer. Whatever your reason might be for wanting to remove the reverse lock on your kids' bikes, it's okay. But keep in mind to record the process of taking the wheel apart. There is nothing more frustrating than forgetting where a component goes when reassembling. It can be unsafe for your child while riding if their bike isn't assembled properly. We hope this video has been helpful enough to aid your decision. 
If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site zimkidsbikes.com for more awesome kids bikes tips like this.